Tonight at 9, parents in Fairhope get a priceless lesson. Phil Schaumbers has interviewed more than 200 teen killers. It's his mission to take what he's learned and save as many people as he can. Tonight, he spoke to parents at Fairhope High School. Paige Malone was there. Bill Chambers has a goal. We're hoping we can save some kids. We're hoping we can stop school shootings. Tonight, with a presentation full of violent images and real world stories, Chalmers opened the eyes of many parents. First grader in Michigan took a gun to school, child in the chest in class. She was on money and went to bed. One lesson, how to navigate your teen's technology-driven world. You know, trying to keep an eye on what's going on, on the internet and their phones and um, video games and everything. So it is very challenging. We just can no longer, like, dis disconnect from our children and think they're going to grow up okay. There's a lot of people vying for their money and their attention. And, and a lot of people have bad intentions. Chalmers spent the day in Fairhope talking to students about violence and bullying. He just, like gave points that normally you don't think about and like told us things that really we haven't heard but like changed it a lot. For many, seeing the images and hearing Chalmers stories was a wake up call. One Fairhope Police Chief Joe Pettis says is vital. A lot of people that live in small towns and stuff, we say things like this, certain things will never happen to us and stuff like that, but we have to realize that, you know, that danger is everywhere. And so if you're aware of it and you know what's going on, then you're better protected. Chalmers says if he could stress one thing, it would be to connect with your children. You have to get involved with your kids. You have to know what they're doing, who they're hanging out with, where they're, what they're doing online. In Fairhope, Paige Malone, Fox 10 News. If you missed it tonight, we have a lot of information for you on our website, fox10tv.com.